Midtown Waterloo. At Roots Market in Cedar Falls, the friendly staff will help you choose from a large selection of organic foods, gluten-free products, bulk grains, pasta, cereals, spices, and environmentally conscious products, proudly supporting local farmers and featuring organic produce fresh daily. Let our knowledgeable staff help you choose from over 300 wines representing regions from all over the world, or choose to mix and match your own selections from our wide variety of import and craft brewed beers. Roots Market at 21st and Main in Cedar Falls. Get back to your roots. With movies like Spider-Man, The Hulk, and Daredevil, it's obvious that a lot of us, no matter what the age, are into comic books and superheroes and that whole world. And joining us this morning is a man who knows a lot about that, Mike Blanchard from The Core in Cedar Falls. Hello, Tara. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Tell us, why do people get into really what is something that a lot of us get into as a child initially, comic books and comic book collecting? Well, comic books have been around since, believe it or not, before TV, before video games, and before uh, the internet. <laughs> so, uh, comic books have a long history dating back to the early 1900s. Um, what we're seeing now is a lot of people that grew up with comic books are now the ones in charge of making the movies and making the video games and making the TV shows, and they want to bring these characters from their childhood uh, to life on the big screen. Um, they're doing a pretty good job, unfortunately, with a lot of the comic book movies that have been coming out. A lot of the fans have been disappointed somewhat because they have to dumb the movies down a little bit. Yeah, talk about that because historically, when you think of comic books, they aren't child's play. I mean, it can get sort of graphic and it is sort of intense, but so are a lot of the movies that we see. Very much so. What we're seeing today, unlike 15 years ago when I got into this business, was uh, Fifteen years ago, we were constantly promoting that comic books were also for adults, and today, almost all of our clientele is adults, and we have to push now that, yes, there are still comic books for children. So what are the, the hot sellers? The hot sellers, well, of course, the Hulk uh, with the new movie is, 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 is quite, uh, quite popular. Spider-Man is always a popular seller. Uh, Tomb Raider comic is very good. Uh, probably the best-selling comic book and what's received the most critical acclaim is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. This was probably the best comic book produced in the last 10 years. Uh, it is written for adults. Um, the movie, unfortunately, was just an action-adventure movie with a big car chase, which was nothing like the comic book. But uh, it was still a fun movie, but the comic book has much more meat to it than that. We've come a long way from the Archie days of everything being paper, thin paper, newspaper-like. It looks like these are almost, you know, books. I mean, Cost-wise, what has that impacted? Uh, the average comic book costs two dollars and twenty-five cents, and a comic book still comes out with thirty-two pages, um, skinny, skinny book like that. But what they do is they'll do a storyline, and uh, when that storyline is complete, maybe four or five issues, and a comic book comes out monthly, so it'll, it'll be like a soap opera serial. Then they collect the entire thing together in one book, and this book is always available, okay. and that will run anywhere from twelve ninety-five to nineteen ninety-five. Well, interesting. I'm so glad that you updated us on where comic books are today. Mike Blanchard from The Core in Cedar Falls. If you're interested, go in and check out the merchandise. And one book I have to grab here from the bottom. This would be my favorite superheroes. <laughs> the Super Friends. I, you know the, the uh, Wonder Twins thing, Chris, where you cross your wrist? Oh, actually, I'm supposed to talk to Mark now because he has to do weather. <laughs> Sorry to leave you out, Mark. Earlier okay. we asked if you were a superhero how you would feel if they told you to change your name because Schnackenberg just won't fit on the cover of one of these. No, they're not, because <laughs> when I had a, when I played football or baseball, we had the, it went from here to here, my last name, just across the entire <laughs> And down your down leg and up your back. <laughs> <laughs> not that long, it's not that long of a name, but uh, uh, yeah, it was, it's probably would have no, to be No, no, it, it's a good name, sorry. Call it lightning, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the conditions. Uh, Live triple Doppler radar showing no rainfall across eastern Iowa as we go ahead and take a look at the hot shot for the daytime today. Beautiful shot sent in by Marge.